This might be the dumbest video I've ever made. You can now take netherite ingots, the rarest ingot in the game, and put it as decoration on leather armor. This video, I need 19,000 diamonds. Yes, 19,000. With the introduction of armor trims, you can decorate your armor in 11 different styles, but each can be 10 different colors. I want every combination. Each trim costs seven diamonds. The sad thing is I didn't know it cost seven diamonds when I started, yet I still thought it was a huge project. We have to explore basically every structure in the game. We're in, I guess we just go get a tree. This is gonna be a long day. <gasps> oh, we have a lava pool next to our spawn. That's actually huge. We're gonna be able to enter the nether so fast. We'll worry about that later though. Where be the iron? I forget how fun it is to play on the latest version. Before we go to the nether, I do need more food. <laughs> oh, I got another chicken out of it. Oh wait, you know what we can do? We can make our first piece of armor. Wait, I don't even know where trim spawn. I don't even know how to get trim. First priority I think is just beating the game. That way we have some actual gear to maneuver the world. I might have my hopes a little bit too high, but we'll see. Boom, entering the nether on the first night. Oh my gosh, we're in a fortress? Dude, this is perfect. <gasps> Ooh, our first one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm so excited. We can make a smithing table. Right, ready? Wait, how do I do this? How do I do this? It's not gonna like use up this thingy, right? <gasps> no, no, my template. You can copy those, right? You Surely, surely I don't have to collect 700 of those template thingies. Ooh, do I hear a blaze? I have come to take your leg do you just take their legs is that what blaze rods are dude i already have nine blaze rods <laughs> that's like enough dude you know what's cool about this biome ah, we get lit on fire ah sorry i meant to say we can kill enderman and we can almost beat the game oh i mean i wasn't looking for one of these but i'm pretty sure there's some more of those the, the instructions for the armor there's more of that in here huh, huh. i hear somebody angry we have to be careful though i don't know about you but i'm scared of piglin brutes Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's fine. I'm professional. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't you dare. I thought he was going to swim out of that lava, man. Ready? Watch this. I've done a lot of bastion studying recently. There should be a chest, right? Frick. Okay. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no. Aha. Here it is. The chest. Told you. Oh, <laughs> First piece of another right. Let's go. I mean ancient debris. And let's go. Netherite upgrade. Back to killing Enderman. Uh-oh, folks. I might be lost. Might be is an understatement. I definitely am lost. Haha! -ha. Home with my blaze rods and ender pearls, I needed to find the stronghold. Not only to beat the game, but I was pretty sure there were armor trims in the stronghold. So I dug down and completely missed. Or so I thought. I was only a chunk or two off, but I wasted 10 minutes running around in the cave before I gave up, went back to the surface, and dug down a second time. This time, I hit the stronghold. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Aha! Boom! Boom, pow, shabammo! We have beat the Minecraft game! The hard part wasn't done yet, though. It was vital I get an elytra. Bang! Oh, I actually did it. Oh, I almost jumped off the edge, though. You know those sketchy moments in Minecraft where you're over the void trying to decide if you should throw a pearl? Honestly, I didn't think this was one of those moments. I thought I was totally fine, but I definitely wasn't. Let's ignore the fact I would have died and lost everything having to restart this entire video because I found an NC. Definitely didn't almost die inside of this. Oh, I'm taking lots of hits. And Elytra was the main reason I was here, but I needed one more thing before I left. <gasps> yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. Spire armor trim. So I think it's time we hop out of here. First thing I want to do is kind of enchant all of the diamonds that I have. Because I have 63 levels. And it'd be a shame if I just died with it all. So I will be back. That took a while to get. However, I needed more lapis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that, that was easy. Holy... Alrighty, preparation phase is done. I think we just need to find the 11 armor trims. We have three. I don't really know where you find them. I'm pretty sure one of them is in like an ocean biome. Ooh, another, another outpost. You have the thingy. Nay. <gasps> 
Smithing template. I almost didn't check this place because I knew it was just gonna have food, but I guess, I guess it can have armor trims. For this next one, I think we're gonna need some buckets. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, get boxed like a fish. Oh, <laughs> oh I love my job. <gasps> oh, it did drop one. Next, I diverted my attention to mountains, the place where ancient cities, but more importantly, armor trims could be found. At least I assume. I mean, there's gotta be a trim in an ancient city, right? Holy, there, surely there's an ancient city under this. There wasn't. I dug down six different times and found nothing. I did find a village though, which was nice. I could finally put on breaking on my elytra. And the search continues. Wait, actually, I kinda wanna check out these cherry blossoms first. Wait, it's a new wood type? What? And I get pink petals. Dude, all oh, the sound. This looks really good. Mojang, you have outdone yourself. This is, wow. There's particles with it too? Sorry, I am, uh, I, I haven't ever seen this before. <laughs> We're trying to find a uh, deep dark though. Whoa. <gasps> Melons. <gasps> Pillager outpost. Kapow. Oh. <gasps> Another outpost. I'm pretty sure there can be one here. No, nothing. Oh, amethyst! Actually, we need this. You make one of the trims purple, and we get that via this guy, I think? Yeah! Wait, they glow? Since when has amethyst glown? <gasps> yes! Oh, we finally found one. Whoa, dude, look at these. <gasps> yes! Ward armor trim! Oh, okay, I was getting worried it didn't exist. Oh, you know what exists though? Wardens, wardens, wardens exist. We're just gonna head this way. While we have one warden wondering about, why don't we just, why don't we just go ahead and summon another one, you know? I don't think there's anything left for us other than more wardens. So <laughs> we're just gonna make a portal down here. While we're making our way back though, we need to find some fortresses. I cannot see anything. Oh, what do you know? There's a fortress right here. That was very convenient. Hello, ghast. Goodbye, ghast. <laughs> I love this sword. <laughs> I got it! Rib armor trim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need four more. Okay, I have one more idea of where to get a trim. A woodland mansion. I think the only viable way to get these is to trade with villagers. Yeah, that's right. I'm out of emeralds. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I figured the best way to get emeralds was sugarcane. So I went and looted an entire swamp. Also, my mic switched to my webcam at some point, so excuse the potato quality. Level up, 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 level up. Yeah! Woodland Explorer map! Wait, doesn't it normally have like a Woodland Mansion icon on it? Oh no, it's right here! Yes, dude, yes! Ooh, first chest, first chest. Bang! Music discs, not, not terrible. Ah, uh, sir, you did not pay rent! Oh gosh, oh gosh! It's fine, it's fine, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait, 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 we're breaking into prison! You guys are free! You're free! Get out! Get out of the lake! Get out! This way! This way! This way! Then I set the whole place on fire. Look, I couldn't find an armor trim. It wasn't my fault. And, and hear me out, it revealed some hidden rooms. Dude, there's another secret room! Since when can there be spider spawners? In woodland mansions? That's so cool! What? What is that? Another secret room I might have missed? Don't tell me it's just more obsidian. Don't tell me it's- okay, okay. Unfortunately, no armor trim, so I flew all the way back, bought another map. <laughs> yes! Vex armor! So we have eight armor trims now. Where are the other three? All of them have been in structures, except for tide armor. But I still need three. The only places I can think of are maybe ruined portals? Oh! Enchanted golden apple from a ruined portal. Oh, there could be some in mine shafts. There weren't. I checked like 20. <gasps> a camel? Oh, I haven't seen a camel yet. Dude. <gasps> Desert pyramid. <gasps> Smithing template, let's go. So we have nine. I don't know how to get the last two. Actually, that's not true. I had one idea. Killing the wither. There's three! Oh my gosh, that took no time at all. And as per usual, just to make it more interesting, let's turn on the hard mode. Um, boom, bop, pow. And he's coming for me. Yeah, yeah. That was really easy. <laughs> but he didn't he didn't drop he didn't drop an armor trim. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill another wither. Did we get 
get an armor trim. That is a negatory. All right, I don't think I'm gonna kill a third one quite just yet, so we'll rule out the wither. Oh, we haven't gotten one from the outpost yet, have we? I'm pretty sure we can get one from an outpost. So that would get us to 10. And then it's gotta be the jungle temple, right? Let's do some more exploring. Also, we're gonna need turtle eggs for later. We do need 110 turtle helmets. <gasps> yes! Yes, dude! Okay, it's gonna be really sad if this doesn't have one. Breaking in through the back. Dun, dun, dun. We're doing a bake heist. Dun, dun, dun. Now I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that unlocked it. Am I a true speedrun? Oh my gosh, I am! Yes! 10 out of the 11. The last one has to be an outpost. Dude, wait, 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 wait. Look at this, look at this. So on my left, stony, middle, snowy, right, icy. That's so cool, dude. <gasps> yes, do you see that? Look at that. No, it doesn't have it. <gasps> whoa, 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 I was like going AFK. Yes! Yes! Dude, I'm literally so slouched in my chair right now. And it is time to go home. All right, we could start making the armor. But if you notice, I don't, I don't have a base. And I kind of want to make one because I, I literally haven't made a base in so long. Like, how do I even make a base? I can't even remember. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea what to do with a base. I could do the typical thing of trying to build a castle or a cool looking house, but I've done that before and it's never really turned out that great. I wanted something unique, so I procrastinated and just made a whole bunch of flat land. This was good for two reasons though. It got me in the groove of building and it gave me time to think about what it should be. As you'll start to notice, the base sort of resembles a giant armor stand. Not exactly, but it has some of the elements of it all the, the flat stone on the bottom I'm gonna put in some wood pillars at some point and I really like it lots of bases will be super closed off There'll be a house or a castle. So you have a whole bunch of walls. I don't really like that this space it, It's so open I can just fly in and out to it the storage room the smelting place the portal right now though I want to focus on all of our armor trims speaking of trims though I should probably mention while gathering resources to build the base. I found another trim turns out I thought this was one of the armor trim. No, 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 it's a completely different item you use to make netherite armor. Very glad to have figured that out, but it does mean we need 110 of these. You know, I thought this was gonna be an easier video. A nice break from farming melons for 100 days straight. Like, I have 22 coastal armor trims, cool and all. I think I need 700 of each. I could be wrong though, we gotta do some experimenting. We put an armor trim here, helmet here, gold here, ooh. Boom, oh my gosh, that looks so cool, dude. This is the first time I've seen it in person. And there's 10 more colors, oh my. Thankfully, you can duplicate trims. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. This is when I realized you need seven diamonds to duplicate one trim. Honestly, I didn't believe it. I thought there was no way you needed seven diamonds for one trim. I need like 3,000 trims. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I went through the five stages of grief. Dude, this video is stupidly hard. This is way more work than I thought. Is it like that for every single one? We need 660 suits of armor. 264 netherite ingots plus the netherite ingots we need for suits so it's 1400 ancient debris total not, not, not only that but we also need 2200 armor trims in total which means 15,000 diamonds bro what's the world record for most diamonds in a minecraft world recently this guy broke the world record for most diamonds in minecraft 18,000 Am I supposed to just casually beat that while making armor? I remember commenting on this video. Dude, props for the dedication. This video is insane. I'm going to be insane. Oh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe the best thing to do is just start small. Let's see if we can collect everything for leather. How hard could it be? This is how many armor stands I need for leather. Can I at least buy armor from villagers? You can, but they're dyed different colors. That wouldn't really work, so I looked up a leather farm on YouTube. It only gave me four stacks of leather per hour though. A pitiful amount. So I did some more researching on leather armor. <gasps> you can undye leather armor. I didn't, I wasn't sure if this was a thing. Okay, that's definitely the way to go then. I'm out of emeralds. So we need like 600 more. So I'm gonna build a farm that gives me 3,000 an hour, which might sound like overkill, but it really isn't. I plan on using villagers to get a lot of the armor, like leather, chainmail, iron, diamond. Maybe not iron, but you get the point. We do need to find an ocean though. That's where we have to build the farm. Oh, is that ocean? Maybe, probably not. 
No, I got trolled. Ooh, is this ocean? No, nah, we got trolled again. Surely this is an ocean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. According to the tutorial, I'm supposed to set my render distance to six, and if I don't see any land, which I don't, we can build a farm right here. Boom. I think the raid farm is finished, maybe? We just need to get a villager somewhere. Villager spotted. <laughs> Get trolled! Villager, are you ready to go on the trip of a lifetime? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to turn around. <laughs> oh my gosh, he did! I have to sprint punch him across an entire lava lake. Alrighty, Mr. Villager, we are almost there. And where is he? He's making a break for it, ladies and gentlemen. He's making a break for it at Mach.01. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all we need to do now this kill a raid cap. Boom, we have bad omen. Now, we have to make sure we don't fly next to that village or that village. We gotta, we gotta shoot in between them. Dude, the base looks kind of cool from back here. Look at that. All right, hopefully a raid doesn't start like immediately. That'd be kind of, this is the wrong portal. Oh, I'm such an idiot. You know what? Um, Have fun with the raid, guys. I will talk to you later. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. Hopefully it'll work, hopefully it'll work, hopefully it'll work, work, maybe. Wait, <gasps> it's working, it's working. This farm is crazy. Oh my gosh, I only have three stacks of emeralds. I didn't realize raid farms were this good. I have almost seven stacks of emeralds. In less than 10 minutes, and I got 35 gunpowder? I wasn't even trying to do that. And we're gonna use all of it to buy leather armor. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing up there? I mean, I guess it's kind of nice since you just won't move. Oh, there's another one. Oh, well, all right, you're the new villager on the hill. <laughs> Many days later, we have all of the armor sets complete, dude. Yes, let's go. That was so hard. It's gonna be like 80 times harder with netherite though. Oh no. I'm gonna try not to think about that though, because we need to make all of these look cool. AKA, we need all of the different kinds of colors. One is amethyst, one is netherite. That's gonna be expensive. Maybe lapis, gold diamond, redstone. I mean, we have a lot to collect though. I'm, I'm pretty poor in some areas. I'm gonna start with coast armor because it's by far the easiest to get. So easy in fact, that it's more worth it to collect new ones in the wild than to duplicate them with the seven diamonds. All right, I'm gonna spend an hour or two grinding out shipwrecks. I'll see you in a bit. So I think this is kind of interesting. As I'm looting the shipwrecks, I always make sure I have a diamond chest plate in my inventory because you can now right click on it. I drop out of the air, drop down faster, and all I do to loot the chests is go over and just break them. <laughs> All right, all of that grinding is enough to get one row of one set of armor. Also, I think this is kind of funny. I have a pretty good PC. I'm looking this way, getting 170 frames a second, but as soon as I look at the armor, it drops to 70, which is still pretty good, but I can imagine when this gets multiplied by six, we're not gonna be sitting so pretty. Anyways, let's see. First set of leather armor. Dude, that looks so cool. Now we need it in the ancient debris color. I'm not expecting this armor set to look really cool, but it's definitely the most expensive. It's like a low key, I'm really good at the game, but he doesn't know how to use netherite properly. <laughs> oh, I really like the iron. Gold looks pretty sick too. Diamond, this is also like, you're really good at the game, you just don't know how to use armor stands properly. Oh, the diamond looks so good. Oh, that's definitely my favorite. I thought I was gonna say redstone is meh, <laughs> I, just, I just like all of them. Dude, quartz. Quartz is just an iron wannabe. Emerald? I thought I wasn't gonna like emerald too. But emerald's really good. Oh, also, yeah, excuse all the totems. The, my farm is too efficient. What I'm currently doing is putting all the armor trims in for each design, because each row is gonna be a different design, right? But what I think is interesting is I also gotta collect the resource to duplicate it. For coast, it's cobblestone. For ward, I think it's deep slate. Actually, let's double check real quick. Yeah, it's deep slate. So I went around the world collecting blocks for each of the trims. They'll never know I'm here. Here. Nobody sees anything. That's the equivalent of sneaking to somebody's house to steal their floorboards. <laughs> I've never used this piece of Minecraft trivia ever, but sometimes villages have those like tree central thingies. My first village had it, but I kind of tore it up to put the villager thing in. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. There's mossy cobblestone in villages. Booyah. Now all we need for the leather armor trims, you know, it's, it's 3000 diamond to make leather armor. Normally I'd go mining for all of this stuff, but I think I have a strategy that might be faster than mining for diamonds. First, I gotta repair all my tools though, because we're gonna be using end cities to loot diamonds. So I'm stopping over at the raid farm for two reasons, to repair my sword and elytra, but also to get gunpowder. I'm gonna raid end cities for one hour, see how many diamonds I get, and then we'll probably mine for an hour and see which is faster. Ah! And I fell. I'm so good at this Minecraft game. Well, 
that is an hour. And we got quite a bit of loot, honestly. Wait, how many stacks of diamonds? Ooh, wait, look at these elytras, too. Two and a half stacks of diamonds. So that means I need to spend 30 hours just to do leather armor. That, that's not good enough. All right, I've just set another hour timer. Let's see how efficient caving is. Oh, I have already been here. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> And that's the other hour up three and a bit stacks of diamonds. That's not bad But dude that was so mentally draining the problem isn't even mining the diamonds It's finding a cave good enough caves like this when you get to this. It's really fun. It's open There's diamonds everywhere, but they are few and far between most of the time You're spent in these tiny little nooks and crannies or just in the overworld flying So our current best method for getting diamonds is regular mining which got us three stacks and 34 But I have a couple other methods. I want to try out first is regular strip mining you know, I thought mining was soul crushing. No, ticking in a straight line is soul crushing. In total, we got four stacks and 56, by far our best hour. Now, the only caveat I'd say is that like half of those diamonds came from caves that I ran into, to clarify. You know, if I run into a cave, I I'm not gonna pass it up. There is one more method I wanna try out though. Way back down this tunnel I dug, I found an ancient city. Give me a second, we're a few blocks away. So I wanna not only see how many diamonds we get from uncovering all the skull, cause that's a lot of surface area, but I also think diamonds generate more when they're not exposed to air. And it is going to be slightly dangerous, so let's get our backup totem. I kind of wish I had more than two totems. Wish me luck. That's warden number one. Warden number two. Warden number three. Warden four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm level 70 now. I have not found a single diamond under all of this. Honestly, I might just call it here. It's been 45 minutes. We've only got a stack in 19. I had such high hopes for this mining method, but it is just terrible. So, in conclusion, we have more diamonds than I've ever had in Minecraft, but still a pitiful amount. It was at this moment I understood the true magnitude of this project. Every diamond I had didn't even get us half of level. Arm. And while mining was more lucrative, I thought I'd have more stamina switching between looting end cities and actual mining. In fact, sometimes it gets so late that I thought it would mess up my sleep schedule, so I started playing on really low brightness with the default Minecraft soundtrack, which by the way, is really calming. I did this for hours. It was honestly such a vibe getting back to the roots of Minecraft. In fact, there was one point where I looked at my coordinates and it said 125,000. That wasn't even the farthest I went. I got to 200,000, but just never took a screenshot. I guess you could say I did a bit of off-work camera. First hour of mining wasn't great, but we got progressively better, almost getting five stacks in a single hour. Uh, from then, though, I kind of just lost track of time and did a, a lot of grinding. Hopefully all of this is enough to complete the leather. I honestly don't know if it's enough. I, I mean, I guess we have a few more. It is now day 125. I think last time I checked in, it was day 90. What's also nice about that grinding is I got three stacks of gold and iron blocks, but most importantly, 46 spire armor trims. Damn. Dang, that's worth like seven stacks of diamonds. That's kind of crazy. Time to make the armor. Two rows is done. Three, four, five, and six. As the sun is setting. Well, actually, technically, it's not six. We're still missing all of the netherite, as well as one random armor piece there and four up there. So let's start with this lone guy. Who is this? Oh, boom, you're all good. This is a snazzy looking diamond one. I'm actually a huge fan of all the diamonds, except for this one. This one is just so much more dull than all the others. Look at this, bright, 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 dull. Bright, 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 bright. <laughs> and then this row, what did we need for this row? Oh yeah, we need mossy cobblestone. That completes everything but netherite. Now this is a bit I am uh, slightly concerned with. We have zero netherite. But, but, this is good news. We have a lot of diamonds left over. Hopefully getting ancient debris won't be too hard. I can't even remember how hard it is to get. 53 TNT is kind of a lot. Yeah, we got two netherite ingots out of that. We need 38. Oh. I didn't realize how hard this part would be. Also, can we take a moment? I used two whole pieces of netherite for what? Five pixels on these boots? Normally, people use TNT to mine for netherite, but you can also use beds. Oh no! <laughs> Sheep, come down! Come down! So it could have been a massive waste of time building this sheep farm, but I, I want to try out bed bombing to get ancient debris. Maybe it's more efficient than TNT? Probably not, but I have all this wool, so I might as well use it. For an hour. An hour test. Oh, after one whole hour, we've got 50 ancient debris, which allows us to complete this armor set. Still doesn't look that great, but it only got me a third of the sets. 
after 800 bed explosions and on day 147 i have two and a half stacks of ancient debris not a lot more but i think it's enough to finish leather surely they're all done smelting oh my gosh you know that's kind of a good problem to have that they take longer to smelt than i think they do oh man 41 netherite ingots that's gotta be enough that's gotta be enough that's gotta be enough one two three Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last one, last one, last one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude, yes. It doesn't even look like it has netherite. What is this armor set, dude? Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh. If you're thinking to yourself, isn't this like outro music building up? Yes, it is, because this is a series, baby. I figured I shouldn't waste three months of my life making one video, and it isn't done yet. I am still in progress. But while I'm working on it, I've actually been posting a lot of videos to my commentary channel. This one's about the time I spent an entire week undercover on a Minecraft server. Honestly, one of the coolest Minecraft experiences experiences I've ever had. So if you want something to watch while I'm mining diamonds, uh, here it is. <laughs> I, sh I should probably get back to mining diamonds though. These armor trims aren't going to make themselves. I will see you guys later.